What is up guys, it is Nistro here, and uh, today we're going to talk about um, this hot new tech that the OCG has seemed to figure out. So, you know, first off, before we start, you know, reading articles on Yu-Gi-Oh! really opens your mind to, like, a lot more strategies and, like, uh, card combos, and you may be able to figure out yourself, or the people around you may be able to figure out um, themselves. Like, um... One good example is like TCG player articles or uh, ARG articles. You know, whatever it is, it's it's usually uh, it's usually nice um, for you as a player just to like just take a look at them, see you know hot, um, hot new combos, see um, if you can learn anything from them because it's it's usually um, stuff that you wouldn't be able to figure out yourself. It's something that you know people just think of randomly and then they decide to write stuff about it. And, you know, a lot of this stuff gets overlooked because, you know, not enough people um, read articles on TCG Player or read Yu-Gi-Oh! articles in general. But uh, the one that I found myself today was uh, was in uh, beyondtheduel.com. And uh, I'll definitely leave a link in the description because uh, this I definitely think you should read this yourself. Um, but uh, starting the new format... Um, we uh, we see uh, this uh, this event in OCG where the top two decks, um, the main deck, the like the top the, the deck the top being um, Infernoid, uh, was it Infernoid uh, Lawn Mowing Infernoid Zoo or something? Or no, it wasn't Zoo. It was just Lawn Mowing Infernoid, and the runner up deck, which is True Draco Metaphos Cosmo, uh, also cited this combo or engine. So, you know, it's, it's, it was something that uh, was fairly, must have been fairly known. Or it must have been, or these two, the only two people playing it just happened to get all the way to the top event. So I'm sure, I'm pretty sure in the OCG this is fairly known as a combo. In TCG, I don't see this um, at all, to be honest. So, uh, what, so pretty much what they're using is uh, Psy Frame Gear Gamma. So, if you don't know how Psy Frames work, is they can't be normal summoned or special summoned. They have to be special summoned by card effect, and can't be special summoned by other ways. So, during either player's turn, when your opponent activates a monster effect, uh, well, this is Gamma. So, when your opponent activates a card or does a certain thing, there's usually a Psy Frame to negate, like, everything, or a Psy Frame that can react to everything, like, one for summons, one for monsters, one for spells, one for traps, one for battle. Um, and I think that's all. So, this one is the one that stops monsters. The thing is, is that you have to control no monsters to activate the effect. So, uh, the beauty is, is that in the same chain, if you control no monsters, you can use two different Psy frames. Um, and when they resolve, uh, you, you, uh, you summon out the monster, uh, the Psy frame monster that you negate the card with, and you summon a Psy frame driver from your hand deck or graveyard. Um, the only real downside is that uh, you have to banish both the monsters during the end phase. And so, uh, the reason why uh, they found themselves playing this is because it's, uh, it's definitely something that works in a way that's different from most other hand traps and, you know, cards like of the sort because it special summons itself after it's done. And not only that, is that, you know, Effect Mailer is limited to negating monsters like on the field only like this can negate any monster effect activation no matter where it is so graveyard banish hand field itself if necessary and so it works in decks where you kind of you or you can kind of clear your field easily so the example here was it was used in a uh win witch deck since they ran wonder wand uh their their boards were clear often and so, um, if your opponent activates something like a Max C um, during your turn, you can just be while you have no monsters, you can just be like, okay, um, I'm going to chain my Cypher, Cyframe Gear Gamma, and my, and I'm going to summon it, and I'm going to summon my Cyframe Driver. Now, understand that Gamma is a level two Psychic Tuner, and the Driver is a level six Normal Monster. 
and understand that since you can play it, summon it from the hand deck or grave, you only need to play one copy of Driver, uh, making it a lot more consistent than you know being forced to summon it from the hand or deck only. The fact that it could be summoned from the grave makes it a lot better. So yeah, uh, it, it it definitely does help uh, with certain decks that know like that can keep a clear field. Um, after like, or like if your board gets like uh, absolutely destroyed with something like a tarantula or something, and then your opponent monster effect activates, you can summon out your Cyframe Gear Gamma and then your driver, and then go into a synchro level eight. So this article also talks about um, Ash Blossom and Joy Spring. Okay, so what Ash Blossom and Joy Spring does, if, if you didn't know, um, during either player's turn, when your opponent activates a card or effect that includes an effect that adds a card from the deck from the main deck to your hand, special summons a monster from the main deck, or sends a card from the main deck to the graveyard, except during the damage step, you can discard this card and negate that effect. So it is actually a real strong card um, in general, but um, in the situation that we're talking about, this guy was using Infernoids, so... Um, Infernoids do mill a lot, so uh, it, it would be pretty broken against Infernoids where you can have a hand trap that could simply negate um, a lot of uh, cards that would mill, which would hinder Infernoids. But when you have no monsters in your on your field and you activate something like a Grass that's greener, uh, you can just, and they try to use a Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring, you can be like Cyframe Gear Gamma, Special Summon, Special Summon My Driver, your, your effect is negated. I, I now have a level 8 synchro on board, and uh, my spell card still resolves, you know? It's a, it's actually a pretty broken combo. So playing something like Cyframes uh, can really uh, help with that, um, especially since this card is going to be like one of the most used hand traps ever because it's going to stop a lot. And so using something like a Cyframe Gear Gamma to negate it or to counter it, um, in your deck could definitely help you. Um, especially uh, with uh, a card like Monster Gate as well, because Monster Gate tributes your monster. So even if um, you have a, like a monster on board and you activate Monster Gate, you're tributing the monster. So by the time that uh, they activate their Ash Blossom and Joy of Spring, you can still chain your Gamma because Monster Gate tributed your, your last monster, so now you have no monsters on board. You know, like, that that's the thing about Cyframes, it's just, it only matters when they are activated. After that, it doesn't matter how many monsters are on board during resolution. So again, it can be a real good card to consider since it can be a card that can really help you get out of uh, sticky situations uh, that might have stopped you before, but, you know, now that you have that Gamma, you're like, okay, I'm lit, because uh, now I can, uh, don't have to worry about uh, getting negated, like my grass and screener getting negated, or my monster gate, or my reasoning getting uh, negated, because I now have uh, my cipher and gamma in hand. So now we have to understand that uh, it's not entirely searchable. It's is is more just a c contingency. It's more of like a, a, a just a just in case type of thing. You know, it's it's something that you would play uh, just because it has like you can play it like. It's not something that I think you should like focus your deck around, obviously, but it is still something you can play. Now, it does have setbacks, but the fact that you can get a Cyframe, a Cyframe Lord Omega off of it, or any level 8 Synchro you want practically off of it that turn, um, is pretty helpful. Now, this is all during your turn. If you do this during your opponent's turn, um, both monsters are going to get banished. And that, although it may not be the most beneficial thing, in the end, you're still getting two bodies on board. And uh, even if you can't synchro summon that turn because you're activating it on your opponent's turn, you still negated something. And sometimes neg negating that one thing can be so crucial that it just might win you the game or it just might be the reason that you win the game. So uh, it's just something you have to consider. Now this video does go, uh, I mean not this video, this, uh, the article does go more in depth about um, how it can, wor uh, it can work with um, 
true Dracos and with uh, like other decks and the thing is, is that I don't really know true Dracos that much so like we'll, like we'll cross that bridge when we come to it um, I only know about Infernoids because I played them at one point I know exactly how they work exactly how to function exactly how they play and I'm telling you this whole cyframe gamma thing like playing three of these and one driver in your deck definitely would not hurt um, it, it'll, it'll definitely be real helpful for a lot of uh, Infernoid players out there so I guess I would suggest trying it out at least once or twice maybe even like go to a regionals or to a locals just play it the whole event don't side it out unless you have to and uh, see how it works because um, I the, like this guy got like top the an event uh, playing this um, this small cyframe engine you know so it, 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 it definitely can't like suck right <laughs> it can probably like clog every now and then but I don't think it absolutely sucks enough to a point where it's it should be considered bad I, I do think that this is something that more people should try out so anyway just uh you know as I said before in the beginning you know you should probably try to read more articles just so you can get a sense of what else is there in this game because you know if, if you just do this stuff like only by yourself if you only play decks that you only come up with the game may get dry a little quicker but when you look at what other people are playing how they're using their cards you know what what other combos are out there you know it's a lot more likely that you can find something way more interesting than what you're doing or way more innovative than what you're doing and use it to your advantage as well that's the thing about games like Yu-Gi-Oh is that it's more based on cumulative cumulative knowledge and not like a single individual's knowledge. It's it's knowledge that we all come together and build up on. You know? That's what I like about it. Anyway, this was Nistro here. Uh you know, I'm 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 not gonna ask you to leave a like, but um if you feel like it, I guess you can do it. I'm not gonna ask you to subscribe either, because at the end of the day, if you like my content, you're probably going to subscribe anyway. But, um, yeah, this was Nistro here. Nistro out. Peace.